William Wewell, Hugh L., the 24th of May 1794 to the 6th of March 1866, was an English polymath, scientist, Anglican priest, philosopher, theologian, and historian of science. He was master of Trinity College, Cambridge. In his time as a student there, he achieved distinction in both poetry and mathematics. What is most often remarked about Wewell is the breadth of his endeavors. In a time of increasing specialization, Wewell appears as a vestige of an earlier era when natural philosophers dabbled in a bit of everything. He researched ocean tides for which he won the Royal Medal, published work in the disciplines of mechanics, physics, geology, astronomy, and economics, while also finding the time to compose poetry, author a Bridgewater treatise, translate the works of Goethe, and write sermons and theological tracts. In mathematics, Wewell introduced what is now called the Wewell equation, an equation defining the shape of a curve without reference to an arbitrarily chosen coordinate system. One of Wewell's greatest gifts to science was his wordsmithing. He often corresponded with many in his field and helped them come up with new terms for their discoveries. Wewell contributed the terms scientist, physicist, linguistics, consilience, catastrophism, uniformitarianism, and astigmatism amongst others. Wewell suggested the terms electrode, ion, dielectric, anode, and cathode to Michael Faraday. Wewell died in Cambridge in 1866 as a result of a fall from his horse. Topic life and career Wewell was born in Lancaster. His father, a carpenter, wished him to follow his trade, but his success in mathematics at Lancaster and Heversham Grammar Schools won him an exhibition a type of scholarship at Trinity College, Cambridge 1812. In 1814 he was awarded the Chancellor's Gold Medal for Poetry. He was second wrangler in 1816, president of the Cambridge Union Society in 1817, became fellow and tutor of his college, and, in 1841, succeeded Christopher Wordsworth as master. He was Professor of Mineralogy from 1828 to 1832 and Knightbridge Professor of Philosophy then called Moral Theology and Casuistical Divinity from 1838 to 1855. Wewell married, firstly, in 1841, Cordelia Marshall, daughter of John Marshall. She died in 1855. In 1858 he married again, to Everina Francis née Ellis, widow of Sir Gilbert Affleck, 5th Baronet, who died in 1865. He himself died in Cambridge in 1866 as a result of a fall from his horse. He is buried in the chapel of Trinity College, Cambridge while his wives are buried together in the Mill Road Cemetery, Cambridge. A window dedicated to Lady Affleck, his second wife, was installed in her memory in the chancel of All Saints Church, Cambridge and made by Morris & Co. Topic endeavors Topic History and development of science His best known works are two voluminous books which attempt to systematize the development of the sciences, History of the Inductive Sciences 1837 and the Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, founded upon their history 1840. While the history traced how each branch of the sciences had evolved since antiquity, Wewell viewed the philosophy as the moral of the previous work as it sought to extract a universal theory of knowledge through history. In the latter, he attempted to follow Francis Bacon's plan for discovery. He examined ideas explication of conceptions and by the colligation of facts endeavored to unite these ideas with the facts and so construct science. <laughs> Wewell's Three Steps of Induction Wewell analyzed inductive reasoning into three steps. The selection of the fundamental idea, such as space, number, cause, or likeness resemblance. The formation of the conception, or more special modification of those ideas, as a circle, a uniform force, etc., and the determination of magnitudes, upon these follow special methods of induction applicable to quantity, the method of curves, the method of means, the method of least squares and the method of residues, and special methods depending on resemblance to which the transition is made through the law of continuity, such as the method of gradation and the method of natural classification. In philosophy of the inductive sciences Wewell was the first to use the term consilience to discuss the unification of knowledge between the different branches of learning. Topic. Opponent of English empiricism Here, as in his ethical doctrine, Wewell was moved by opposition to contemporary English empiricism. Following Immanuel Kant, he asserted against John Stuart Mill the a priori nature of necessary truth, and by his rules for the construction of conceptions he dispensed with the inductive methods of Mill. Topic. 
Wewell's neologisms As stated, one of Wewell's greatest gifts to science was his wordsmithing. He often corresponded with many in his field and helped them come up with new terms for their discoveries. In fact, Wewell came up with the term scientist itself in 1833, and it was first published in Wewell's anonymous 1834 review of Mary Somerville's On the Connection of the Physical Sciences published in the Quarterly Review. They had previously been known as natural philosophers or men of science. Topic. Work in college administration Wewell was prominent not only in scientific research and philosophy, but also in university and college administration. His first work, An Elementary Treatise on Mechanics 1819, cooperated with those of George Peacock and John Herschel in reforming the Cambridge method of mathematical teaching. His work and publications also helped influence the recognition of the moral and natural sciences as an integral part of the Cambridge curriculum. In general, however, especially in later years, he opposed reform, he defended the tutorial system, and in a controversy with Connop Thirlwall 1834, opposed the admission of dissenters, he upheld the clerical fellowship system, the privileged class of fellow commoners, and the authority of heads of colleges in university affairs. He opposed the appointment of the University Commission 1850, and wrote two pamphlets remarks against the reform of the university 1855. He stood against the scheme of entrusting elections to the members of the Senate and instead, advocated the use of college funds and the subvention of scientific and professorial work. He was elected Master of Trinity College, Cambridge in 1841, and retained that position until his death in 1866. The Wewell Professorship of International Law and the Wewell Scholarships were established through the provisions of his will. <laughs> Wewell's interests in architecture Aside from science, Wewell was also interested in the history of architecture throughout his life. He is best known for his writings on Gothic architecture, specifically his book, Architectural Notes on German Churches first published in 1830. In this work, Wewell established a strict nomenclature for German Gothic churches and came up with a theory of stylistic development. His work is associated with the scientific trend of architectural writers, along with Thomas Rickman and Robert Willis. He paid from his own resources for the construction of two new courts of rooms at Trinity College, Cambridge, built in a Gothic style. The two courts were completed in 1860 and posthumously in 1868, and are now collectively named Wewell's Court in the singular. <laughs> Wewell's works in philosophy and morals Between 1835 and 1861 Wewell produced various works on the philosophy of morals and politics, the chief of which, Elements of Morality, including Polity, was published in 1845. The peculiarity of this work—written from what is known as the intuitional point of view— is its fivefold division of the springs of action and of their objects, of the primary and universal rights of man personal security, property, contract, family rights and government, and of the cardinal virtues benevolence, justice, truth, purity and order. Among Wewell's other works—too numerous to mention— were popular writings such as the Third Bridgewater Treatise Astronomy and General Physics considered with reference to Natural Theology 1833, and the essay, Of the Plurality of Worlds 1853, in which he argued against the probability of life on other planets, and also the Platonic Dialogues for English Readers 1850-1861, the Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy in England 1852, the essay, Of a Liberal Education in General, with particular reference to the leading studies of the University of Cambridge 1845, the important edition and abridged translation of Hugo Grotius, De Jury Belli A. C. Passus 1853, and the edition of the mathematical works of Isaac Barrow 1860. Wewell was one of the Cambridge dons whom Charles Darwin met during his education there, and when Darwin returned from the Beagle voyage he was directly influenced by Wewell, who persuaded Darwin to become secretary of the Geological Society of London. The title pages of On the Origin of Species open with a quotation from Wewell's Bridgewater Treatise about science founded on a natural theology of a creator establishing laws. But with regard to the material world, we can at least go so far as this. 
we can perceive that events are brought about not by insulated interpositions of divine power, exerted in each particular case, but by the establishment of general laws Topic. Works by Wewell 1831. Review of J. Herschel's Preliminary Discourse on the Study of Natural Philosophy. The Quarterly Review. 45 90, 374 to 407. July 1831. 1833. Astronomy and General Physics Considered with Reference to Natural Theology. Bridgewater Treatise. Cambridge. 1836 Elementary Treatise on Mechanics, 5th edition, 1st edition 1819 1837 History of the Inductive Sciences, From the Earliest to the Present Times, 3 vols, London. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. 2nd ed 1847, 2 vols, 3rd ed 1857, 2 vols, 1st German ed 1840-41. 1837 On the Principles of English University Education. London, 1837 1840 The Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, founded upon their history. 2 vols, London, 2nd ed. 1847. Volume 1. Volume 2 1845 The Elements of Morality, including Polity. 2 vols, London. Volume 1 Volume 2 1846 Lectures on Systematic Morality. London, 1849 of induction, with a special reference to Mr. J. Stuart Mill's system of logic. London 1850 Mathematical Exposition of Some Doctrines of Political Economy, Second Memoir. Transactions of the Cambridge Philosophical Society 9-128-49 1852 Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. 1853 Hugonus Grotti de Jury Belli et Passus Libri Trace, accompanied by an abridged translation by William Wewell, London, John W. Parker, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3 1853 Of the Plurality of Worlds. London. 1857 Spedding's Complete Edition of the Works of Bacon. Edinburgh Review 106-287-322-1858A The History of Scientific Ideas. 2 vols, London, 1858b Novum Organon Renovatum, London, 1860a On the Philosophy of Discovery, Chapters Historical and Critical. London, 1861 Plato's Republic Translation. Cambridge, 1862 Six Lectures on Political Economy, Cambridge, 1862 Additional Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy, Cambridge, 1866 Comte and Positivism. Macmillan's Magazine 13-353-62 Topic honors and recognitions Foreign Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 1847 The Crater Wewell on the Moon The Gothic buildings known as Wewell's Court in Trinity College, Cambridge The Wewell Mineral Gallery in the Sedgwick Museum of Earth Sciences, Cambridge The Mineral Wewellite The Debating Society at Lancaster Royal Grammar School is named the Wewell Society in honor of Wewell being an old Lancastrian. Topic in fiction In the 1857 novel Barchester Towers Charlotte Stanhope uses the topic of the theological arguments, concerning the possibility of intelligent life on other planets, between Wewell and David Brewster in an attempt to start up conversation between her impecunious brother and the wealthy young widow Eleanor Bold. Topic see also Catastrophism Uniformitarianism Earl of Bridgewater for other Bridgewater Treatise Law of Three Stages for Wewell's Opposition to Auguste Comte's Positivism Michael Faraday Topic References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Wewell, William. Encyclopædia Britannica. 28 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic further reading Heilbronn, J. L. 2002, Coming to Terms, Nature published 7 February 2002, 415 6872, pp. 585-585, doi, 101038 pmid 11832919 Losi, J. 1983, Wewell and Mill on the Relation Between Philosophy of Science and History of Science 
Science, Studies in History and Philosophy of Science published June 1983, 14 2, pp. 113-126, doi, 10.1016, 3681 x PMID 11615935 Fish, M. 1991, William Wewell Philosopher of Science, Oxford, Oxford University Press. Fish, M. and Schaefer, S. J. eds. 1991, William Wewell, A Composite Portrait, Oxford, Oxford University Press. Henderson, James P. 1996. Early Mathematical Economics, William Wewell and the British Case. Lanham, Roman and Littlefield. ISBN 0-8476-8201-3. Metcalf, J. F. Wewell's Developmental Psychologism, A Victorian Account of Scientific Progress, Studies in History and Philosophy of Science published March 1991, 22-1, pp. 117-139, doi, 10.1016-00393681-91-900017-m, PMID 11622706 Morrison, M. 1997. Wewell on the Ultimate Problem of Philosophy. Studies in History and Philosophy of Science Part A, 28-3, pp. 417-437, doi, 10.1016, S00393681960028-3, Ruse, M. Darwin's Debt to Philosophy, An Examination of the Influence of the Philosophical Ideas of John F. W. Herschel and William Wewell on the Development of Charles Darwin's Theory of Evolution. Studies in History and Philosophy of Science published June 1975, 6 pp. 159-181, doi, 10.1016-00393681-75-90019-9, PMID 11615591 Sandoz, R. 2016. Wewell on the Classification of the Sciences. PDF, Studies in History and Philosophy of Science Part A, 60, pp. 48-54, doi, 10.1016, j.shpsa.2016.10.001. Shipper, F. 1988. William Wewell's Conception of Scientific Revolutions. Studies in History and Philosophy of Science Part A, 19 1, pp. 43-53, doi, 10.1016-0039-3681-88-90019-2 Snyder, Laura J. 2006, Reforming Philosophy, A Victorian Debate on Science and Society, Chicago, The University of Chicago Press. Includes an extensive bibliography. Snyder, Laura J. 2011, the Philosophical Breakfast Club, New York, Broadway Books. Wewell, W., Astronomy and General Physics Considered with Reference to Natural Theology, Bridgewater Treatises, W. Pickering, 1833 reissued by Cambridge University Press, 2009, ISBN 978-1-108-00012-3. Wewell, W., Of the Plurality of Worlds. An essay, J. W. Parker and Son, 1853, reissued by Cambridge University Press, 2009, ISBN 978-1-108-00018-5. Yo, Richard. Wewell, William, 1794-1866. Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, online ed. Oxford University Press. Doi 10.1093 ref odnb 29200 subscription or uk public library membership required yo r 1991 defining science william wewell natural knowledge and public debate in early victorian britain cambridge cambridge university press Zametsky, Stefan, Commenters do Naukoznachich Poglado Williama Wewella 1794-1866, Studium Historiznomatodologicans Commentaries to the Logological Views of William Wewell 1794-1866, A Historical Methodological Study, Warsaw, Wydonictwa IHN Pan, 2012, ISBN 978-83-86062-09-6, English Language Summary, pp. 741 to 43.
Topic: External links. The Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, founded upon their history, 1847, complete text. William Wewell (1794–1866) by Menachem Fish from the Routledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy. William Wewell by Laura J. Snyder from Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Six lectures from Archive for the History of Economic Thought, papers on mathematical economics as well as a set of introductory lectures. William Wewell from History of Economic Thought Papers of William Wewell The Master of Trinity at Trinity College, Cambridge. William Wewell at the MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive Sharon Carleton the 23rd of June 2018 William Wewell, Coined Osmosis, Conductivity, Ion and Scientist. The Science Show MP3 Podcast. ABC News, Australia. Works by William Wewell at Project Gutenberg Works by or about William Wewell at Internet Archive.